email marketing is a proven way of increasing the traffic to your website. And even better, it's a great opportunity to engage with your site's visitors and get to learn a little bit more about what makes them tick. And when it comes to email marketing, MailChimp is one of the best tools out there to help make the process of managing a list easier. Lucky for us, the Drupal MailChimp module makes integrating with the MailChimp service from a Drupal-powered application a relatively easy task. Anyway, I won't go into much detail here because we've got an entire video in this series dedicated to the benefits of using MailChimp in conjunction with Drupal for handling all of your email marketing needs. Throughout this series, we'll be looking at the functionality provided by the MailChimp module and how we can use it to do things like, for example, provide ways for users of our site to subscribe to a mailing list, manage their subscription preferences, and even collect additional information about someone in Drupal and then synchronize that data with MailChimp allowing content creators to use that additional information about contacts in order to slice and dice our mailing list, also known as segmenting, in all kinds of different ways. With our mailing list in place and full of subscribers, we'll then be able to start sending out email campaigns. But before you do that, I recommend taking the time to make a plan, figure out what you want to communicate to your list, and why. With that in mind, we'll go over some best practices for email marketing campaigns and make sure that before you do hit send, you're setting yourself up for success. Then, you'll be ready to hit send on your first campaign, a task that can be accomplished either directly on the MailChimp website or via the Drupal MailChimp module. One of my favorite things about MailChimp is how easy it is to send emails that look really good and consistent across different devices. In this series, we'll look at how you can create a new template in MailChimp and the steps required to get your templates to show up as options when sending email from the Drupal MailChimp campaigns module. It's a little bit tricky, but totally worth the effort. Our case study is the Anytown Ice Cream Shop, which has three physical stores and a website that provides its customers with info about those stores. We'll create a mailing list for semi-regular updates, kind of like a newsletter, and another that will allow people to get a flavor of the day update targeted to just the stores that they've listed on their profile. To keep things easier for our employees, we'll automate the process of sending the flavor of the day emails using an RSS-based campaign. We'll also look at collecting a customer's birthday so that we can send them specials. I'll refer back to this case study a few times throughout the series in order to explain some concepts. I'm going to assume that you've already got some basic Drupal administration knowledge. Notably, how to download and install a module and you're at least familiar with Drupal's UI for adding, adding and editing fields, as we'll be using that a lot. Finally, if you want to take your learning further, look for the follow-up questions in the description for each tutorial. These questions are presented to help you make sure you're understanding the material and to encourage you to explore how what you've just learned could apply to your specific use case. Ready to learn how to integrate MailChimp and Drupal so you can create awesome email campaigns? Then you're going to love this series.